name is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be using our choice and favorite art making mediums to create a lovely Frankenstein drawing perfect for, well, Halloween. So grab those art making mediums and let's make some art. Let's begin Frankenstein. First, we're gonna draw a nice big straight line at the top. Let's make it bigger. Oh yeah. All right, two lines down. Connect those lines. Zigzag lines along the top for some hair. Two lines on either side of the face for eyes. Beneath those lines, draw some letter U shapes in the eyes. Two more letter U's. Color them in, leaving just a little bit of white. Oh yeah. All right. Give Frankenstein a mouth. And now we gotta stitch up that face. So we're gonna just draw some wavy lines here and there and then add some lines across to stitch up this monster. All right, monster's looking good. Okay, let's color in this hair with a dark black color. Now, I'm purposely leaving some white along the top there because it's gonna make that hair look shiny. Just the same way that we leave white in the eyes to make the eyes look shiny, we gotta do the same for the top there. And that's going to make the hair look nice and shiny and glossy. All right, on either side, we'll draw some little ears. Super awesome. Okay, give Frankenstein a neck. And the most important reason why we do this is because we gotta add those little metal pieces on either side. Oh yeah, okay. Straight line across and connect that neck. Add some stitches on that neck, obviously. We're all stitched up here. All right. Add an almost square just below that line, so I'm leaving just a little finger space in between. And I'm gonna pull those arms down here, just like that. Add in your hands. Two lines that go off the page. All right, let's add some patchwork onto his outfit here. So we're adding just some rectangles here and there. Stitch those on. Cool. All right, we're gonna add a jacket. Two triangles. Zigzag it twice. Down on a diagonal. Buttons on one side, hole openings on the other. Add a second line down, so it looks like he's kind of wearing like a fancy tux or something like that. I love it. And then you can give him whatever kind of shirt he's wearing. Mine's just gonna have a button up. Perfect! Okay, other details on this design. We can add a nice cobweb in the background here. So three diagonal lines up, and then we're gonna just simply connect with some curving lines. And that's gonna make a nice spooky cobweb in our background. You can even have like a little spider friend hanging off there.
Beautiful. Once you're done, you are ready to give your Frankenstein some color. Make Frankenstein fabulous. All right, we're gonna first stick in some color on the skin. My Frankenstein is gonna be green. You could do a purple Frankenstein. You can do whatever color, blue Frankenstein. Whatever color Frankenstein you want to do, go for it. So color in Frankenstein however you see fit. fit. So grab your choice art mediums and go ahead and color in your Frankenstein. Alright, and once you're done um, coloring it in, grab a gray marker or something like a gray pencil crayon, maybe a gray wax crayon or even a black wax crayon and just color lightly. And we're just going to go around and shade in some areas of our Frankenstein to make him extra spooky. So anywhere there's some overlapping details, I like to add a little bit of gray there. Boom. Fabulous. We are around these buttons. How about that? Ooh, yeah. All right. And once you're done, your lovely Frankenstein artwork is done. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas so comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.